what is going on guys my name is Mehul and welcome to your fourth I guess angular 2 tutorial in which I'm gonna show you or I'm gonna explain you that how our hello world application was working in a rather simple way because since we don't know a lot of things in angular right now so I'm just gonna keep this explanation real simple so starting from index.html first of all we loaded these four script modules and maybe I could just uh, get rid of this sidebar all right so we are loading these four modules then down here we are configuring the system JS and this file basically it does nothing but it is a module loader so it just loads some module and angular is angular 2 is a modular language so everything is split into modules like you see this is component is a module which we are importing from angular 2 slash core and then our main.js file is also a module so it is actually a dot js as defined here but we don't need to put an extension because we have already written a default extension of dot js so this is then some sort of chaining and debugging then it console logs if it doesn't find this file or there are some sort of read write protection or something like that then we are making use of this selector right there which we always made use of like in uh, angular one and then pretty much what we are doing is that inside this app.ts and main.ts this main.ts file is called first and then this main.ts imports the app component now you can only import something which is exported so you are exporting this app component that is why you are importing this app component and if you just name it x and you have to change this to x as well and you have to change this class name to x as well well that would also work so yeah so you are importing then this class from dot app and this class is exported right there and then these things are attached to it then what we are doing is we are bootstrapping it and as you can see bootstrap is located in this directory and one thing you might have noticed is that though this component is located in angular 2 slash core that means this is a core component this bootstrap module is loaded is located somewhere in angular 2 slash platform slash browser so why is this so well if you look in angular 2 node modules uh, wait a minute yeah angular 2 platform and uh, right here you can see that there are a bunch of files right there browser.js browser static.js common dom.js server.js and all that stuff and uh, angular 2 actually works on server and it is you know compatible with ionic as well which is used to develop android application mobile applications basically so what happens is that you can bootstrap the application from various places for various platforms so that is why this is not located in angular 2 slash core instead for browser it is located in this directory well once you have bootstrapped the application that means you have initiated the application then this component comes into play and then it imports this thing and the selector is the css selector this is not a tag specific selector this is actually a css selector so if I try to like div class my selector and if I do like div and right here also if I do like my selector notice the period and uh, yeah so I guess I already have that running so if I just look at this HTML down there you can see that it is on div class my selector instead of just the tag so this is a CSS selector this is not a tag only tag specific selector then this is the template 
which we also had in angular one then you can also have something known as template url then this there's a, was a file name there then that would load a file out there and like that so we'll be creating a lot of components in future application of angular and uh, yeah so that's pretty much it for this tutorial and i'm just gonna revert that back everything and here we go so yeah so that's all for this one and we'll be starting off with angular from the next tutorial onwards so don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching